Hi and welcome to my new video and I'm doing another review of a G-Shock uh, Steel Series watch. This new model adopts stuff uh, G-Shock styling with a disc indicator at 6 o'clock that shows the current mode and charge level and a front button that completes the overall uh, rugged look. That's the front button for the illumination. The disc around a uh, graphic digital display between uh, 1 and 2 o'clock and the digital display at, uh, at, at 12 o'clock add to both functionality and looks. The analog digital GST B300 looks like a combination of the GST B100 case and the GST B200 dial and has more traditional armored shock appearance than the uh, sleek, sleeker GST B200. It is also the first G-Steel uh, model with a front LED light button. Like the GST B200, the GST B300 is a carbon core guard model with a carbon fiber reinforced uh, case and an LCD display. The carbon fiber reinforced resin also extends to the front side button guards. The GST B300 has a tough solar power and a Bluetooth smartphone link, the signature features of the GST B models. Other features include world time, 1 1,000th of a second stopwatch, 1 1,000th of a second countdown timer, and it maxes out at 24 hours, 5 multifunctional alarms with a daily alarm, one time and the schedule, and full auto double uh, LED light, that's the super illuminator, with adjustable afterglow. The GST B300 measures 51. Uh, 51 centimeters, 51 uh, sorry millimeters times 50 millimeters and 15.5 millimeters in depth. Uh, the GST B300 has the hands with a quick release side lever. The first problem that car carbon fiber solves is the size and the weight of the watch, which is quite relevant, especially if the watch is on the bracelet. Shock resistance also has uh, reached a new level, although a G-Shock has never had a problem with it. The main thing is that the uh, electronic module is really protected. That's why we love uh, the G-Shocks. It's interesting to look at the uh, propeller, let's call it at the 6 o'clock position, where our color stripe ideally shows the battery charge. We have already seen uh, similar experiments with the screws of the GSD B100 and such a solution has not gone to everyone. Now let's run through the, some basic operations of the watch or the uh, indicators on the watch dial. First of all, you have the standard timekeeping and that's the mode we are currently in. And um, first of all, I want to say that uh, the dial has the quite in-depth or the deep look to it. Um, this watch is a tough solar movement, which means that it has um, solar cells integrated in the uh, watch dial and the battery self-charges. Uh, pointing to that reference is the um, uh, screen indicator that shows the uh, battery level and that's over here at this uh, let's call it a gear and this gear shows the uh, battery level so you have the uh, empty and full and currently we see that the uh, watch is on the medium battery level other watch indicators are as um, uh, when it comes to the connection, connecting your watch with the, um, your phone, and that's the Bluetooth connection, you have the ready and the connect. The second hand will move to um, you know, appropriately when you um, connect your phone with your watch. On the upper two dials, you have the ability to see your, uh, in this case, uh, month, day, and the uh, day in the uh, uh, letter value. Currently, it's set on English. This watch also has the illumination button, and that's the uh, button over there, as I previously uh, told you. Uh, and it has the nice, very nice LED that uh, will uh, illuminate the whole screen. Now, the representation of the uh, timekeeping time format is uh, shuffled using the adjust button, that's the upper left one, and you can switch, uh, currently you see that's in, in the... Um, uh, showing the digital time, so the digital time corresponds with the um, uh, analog time. Each press of the analog, uh, the adjust button, shifts the between these two values. Also, there is the um, over here uh, a quick check of your current time uh, time zone. That's the Paris time zone, and 
um, you have the uh, uh, option to uh, connect your phone with your watch that's the bluetooth mode now shift, shift shuffling through the modes of the watch is done by pressing the mode button and you will hear the beep and currently we are going to the world time mode and the gear over here uh, points to the wt or world time mode next press moves to the stopwatch mode a timer or the countdown timer alarm and when I press the mode button again you will hear the uh, higher pitch of the sound and it will return us to the standard timekeeping mode and there it is um, those will be the basics of the um, this uh, operations and functions of this watch thank you very much for watching please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more watch reviews